Hello guys and seven blessing to you. We are back now in the nice watch and it's time for me to present my Ranger. This custom is a bit more developed than the two first I presented, the infantry and the archer, because this one is uh, not uh, something that I uh, build up uh, in uh, just picking stuff all around in my stock, in my different costume that I had. So here you have uh, something that I built for the, that purpose, to create my own ranger costume. To begin, the boots. The boots are much uh, better than the first you saw before for the infantry and the archer. Those ones are made by, uh, have been made by Jean-Baptiste Ferret. I will give a link in the description for his workshop. And these boots there are made out of leather, lined with leather and also I have a protective uh, sole just uh, at the bottom of the boot in order to keep my feet uh, warmer when I'm walking uh, around, especially in the cold. Beneath the, the wall costume you will have something like uh, this kind of shirt here. Here is the underwear I have beneath everything. These are very comfy and also I love the pattern I came up to um, that's something uh, that won't break easily and do the job it have to do uh, well I'm glad about my patterning once again on my legs there is full ozone that you can see just here but they are covering from the tip of my toes to my hip close up on the ozone you can see this part here which can be removed in order to go to the toilet and stuff like this. It's closed by five buttons, five pewter buttons, you can see here, and the five button hole uh, have been stitched there on this part. There is also the three other buttons at the top that are made out of horn and have of course the three matching button holes at the front. It's like on uh, some modern trousers and it's a mix you see with uh, an historical design and other interpretation other ideas because it's uh, it's heavily inspired uh, for what you can understand by the late middle ages and a bit of the beginning of the modern era so i wanted to bring all of this together this is why also you have what you see on the side there to put a belt there as well I'll do in due time and you can see the lining which is the silk the silk and the wool together help for the simply for let your body breathe and also keep you warm as well it's really a good match and also the, the silk help uh, your body to move and slide in, uh, in your trousers uh, and any, anything well in the ozone which are very really tight on you uh, I've learned to really enjoy uh, the silk for that near uh, the feet and you understand how it cover everything and this part here the top there as the bottom here is also lined with silk the lining goes uh, from the, the hip, the top, to the, the knee and then I add some lining there in order to protect my feet. This is how it's some stitch at the back and you have to notice also that for all the buttons there is a little piece of leather which helps to hold the stitching just there without breaking the fabric so i would recommend you to do that uh, often it helps to hold a lot and uh, the leather take much of the pressure pressure i would recommend you to do that when you are putting buttons on uh, anything like that i did that for also some jackets and uh, other things and uh, the leather there take 
most of the pressure. You can see what I meant when I said about the lining, the foot at the top and on the bottom, you have the silk. I have a gun bezel, as you can see here, closed with buttons. It's closed as well with all the buttons here on the forearm. And I edited a bit this gun bezel in order to fit my needs better. Especially here on the, the forearms, I edited the, the buttons and the, the closing here in order to make it match what I needed for, well, for this costume and for the, the other part of the equipment. Same goes around here, well, it's just little details that I did in order to make it fit better. Over the combison, there is this leather armor here. It's just leather, there is no steel in it just a thick leather that will provide basic protection over the, the cambezon. It helps also to keep you warm for sure and because it, the, the wind won't just go through that easily and also because it's a leather, because it's thick, your body it won't go through that easily. So keep you warm and protect you as well. And it's not heavy at all, it's not heavy at all, it's something which is easy, very easy to carry around. It's not a big problem. The the shape also, as it's very open, yeah, at the front, provide me with great possibilities for the movement. I don't have any problem with that, which is good. And there is buckles at the front in order to close it correctly. Uh, I do believe it would be nice in the future perhaps to add uh, some pieces of uh, steel in it in order to make it perhaps like a coat of plate, something like that. Like a coat of plate for the protection of my guts and my chest, well, very important parts. In order to close the, the armor there, there is not only these buckles there, there are also four buckles behind my shoulders and all the buckles three on each side here and of course on the other side there like that it can uh, really be adjust to my body to complete the protections there is my gloves there made out of leather and they are padded at the top here and the fingers around the wrist and this will provide me with better protection both from heat and cold but I do imagine that it would be nice in the future to have like a um, half gauntlet coming here to protect correctly my hands without having something too big and heavy there so it would be made out of leather for the fur that is my cloak here it's a simple sheep, a black sheep fur which have been pinned on the on the clock with a fibular again uh, I used fibrae for that and after some times I don't think it's the best idea here to use that so I will think about uh, something to make it even better on the long run and I already have some ideas I'll show you when uh, when it's done and when everything is uh, better. And as the clock is a full cycle clock, you can do this kind of stupid things like I am the night, and it works. Or you can even turn around and film like a Disney princess once more. Wonderful. The clock has air, a hood in order to cover my head and it will help to keep me warm as well see with this simple shape but efficient see the curve and I can still put beneath the hood other protective gear both from the cold or even a helmet. Speaking of protection from the cold, I have this 
perfect hat. It's made out of silk, wool and fur. The lining you will have on your head is silk. The outside is made out of fur and the inside beneath the fur between fur and silk is made out of wool. So you have three layers there. It will keep you warm for sure and it did for me. The fur is a an alpaca fur because it's one of the best fur you can have to keep you warm. It was something that I tried in Peru and I understood why this, uh, this kind of fur was so efficient. Yes. So I reproduced this for my hat. The hat is also covering a big part of my ears there which is also a good point when you are outside, when you are in the cold, avoid to be freezing and still I can I can still hear easily it's not covering the ear hole just covering the upper part of my ear and also there is my hair on the side there and I can complete this with a scarf a good scarf will do same as you saw before for, for the chooser character and that way with both scarf and hat you will be very very well protected from the cold a little close up for the hat and also for the scarf you see in the pattern perhaps in the fish bone pattern to get back on the on the clock there is something that i should add in the future which is important is the the straps that you will have seen in uh, in Game of Thrones on a lot of clock, they use straps which are crossing over the chest and closing on the back. This is something I've tried uh, before I knew Game of Thrones and uh, actually the first time I saw it anywhere in the movie was uh, in the 300, so well. The point is that with this uh, kind of straps, these, these leather straps coming up there, it had to move around with a, with a big cloak like this and have less chances to suddenly have, like I have here, you see the, the closing, I'll show you and close up. They have the closing there coming up and right at the throat and stopping you, which is very inconvenient when you are an actor, when you have lines and when you have to act so you don't have to be bothered by your gear, by your costume that's why it was a, a good choice uh, they made with all these cloaks all the big cloaks on the north that wasn't a bad idea at all and this is what I have to do in the future for my, uh, for my cloak here add the straps and a little piece also on the, the back of the neck in order to hold everything together and that will help to fix correctly this cloak and make it even more efficient than it is actually now. You see the two own buttons there with this little strap to hold together everything. It's not the best way, it's not uh, that efficient. This is why I want the straps later on coming over there also you have to close the the clock you have here three buttons made out of horns as well black horn once more and there the black leather with the button hole here in order to avoid to cut the, the wool and give too much pressure in the wool I prefer to add this piece of leather and that will help to close the two parts of wool together and uh, cut the wind much better. And here the fibulae as I told you before. That close I think you can see the difference for the 
completely different fabric, different wool inside there. It's lighter, thinner, and also grayer. It's a, uh, it's not a uh, deep, deep black. You can see the difference here, and the outside is much thicker and have the little pattern in it as well. Check here. There. And for the weapons, here I have my sword. See? The scabbard is made out on leather, only it's quite flexible. So I won't have the risk when the sword is out to get stuck anywhere. There is less risk with that. At the top here, there is a little decoration which also protects the bottom my scabbard. The sword is really simple and light. See? Blade is thin. It's not complicated both from the guard and the pommel. But it's still an efficient sword you can use both with two hands without a problem. And also because of the lightweight or this sword you can use it just with one hand without a problem. And this one isn't even sharp, so imagine if it's not a problem right now for me to use it as it's a blunt sword. You remove big, well not a big, but a still you remove some weight from this sword if it was sharp and if it's sharp a sword is always lighter than the blunts one we use uh, for reenactment most of the time so if even this shape is good there for one end without being a true sword well, with true sword which is sharp that would be very easy to use and still long enough in order to use both of your hands at need in the scabbard with these straps there it's easy also to uh, to manage and to incline the way you want it in order to not be bothered by the fact that you have to remove or put back your sword in the scabbard it came quite easily and to complement this I have also there a dagger with a buckle for safety there. This dagger would complete the sword if needed, perhaps in the left hand or perhaps just by itself. It could be that which you can use. I have here from a battle merchant, this uh, pike and this knife could be handy for both the lunch or anything uh, could help in the wild or even perhaps why not defend yourself but if you want to cut a piece of wood and stuff like that uh, in the wild I think I should add uh, an axe an axe to this gear in order to be able to chop some wood that would be a good thing to add as well speaking about the thing that I should add of course there is bags I don't have any bags with me any pouches anything so I can carry stuff around and that's not very helpful when you are a ranger so this is something I have to think about for the future add some bags to this gear to these costumes that will make it even more efficient and uh, would give it a, a true purpose once again. There is one useful thing that I have here. It's a leather bottle that I have. And this, of course, like everything for the Night's Watch here is black. And I can use it to carry my water around. A little close up concerning the weapons and accessories. That was my take on the Rangers from the Night Watch. I hope you enjoyed the work. I hope also it will provide you with some inspiration. Then in the future this gap will be used for different shootings. And also I plan to use it 
on the field to try it. That means that in the future I will have uh, one day or two or I don't know, I'll see, of hiking and try it right into the wood, try it with uh, everything on and see how good it will help me or what should be changed if it's a realistic costume and if it could be efficient when you need it. And if you want to see that, it's simple, just keep in touch. Follow my work there on YouTube, follow my work elsewhere, also on social media, Facebook, DeviantArt, Instagram, whatever. Just go there, follow, keep in touch, and I'll see you for the next update concerning the Nightwatch and all the universe as well. Have a great day, guys. See you.